is God's tool for the total transformation of one's destiny. Get ready to encounter truth as you listen to this timely message by God's veritable servant, Prophet Eric Oklu Pasley. Well, in the nursing profession, when you go, they squeeze their face because that is not their calling. There are certain policemen, when you see them, immediately they stop you, they are already angry. Because that is not their place. There are certain people that are pastors, that's not their place. There are certain people that are so frustrated in life, they have become frustrated and they have agreed that the only way I can make it is to become a pastor. Access to, you see, the reason why we have problem in our world, you see a group of people who say they are suicide bombers, they are against Westerners. It doesn't make sense. How can Boko Haram and Muslims say they are against white people? You are against West, uh, uh, Western education. When you, you use internet and mobile phone, and you even use a car, Are brains that are turned upside down. Somebody appears and says, Kill yourself, you get 10 wives in heaven. Why did the person kill himself and get 10 wives first? Don't mind me, I see a lot of things. The ones you like, you pick them. The ones you don't like, you leave them. So, the voice of God is the activator of destiny from today. See, Joseph had God. That is why a prisoner could be so happy in prison. The guy was so happy that when his other prisoners were sad, he asked them, what is wrong with you? Why are you guys sad? He said, I dreamt a dream. And he gave the interpretation. Because it takes somebody to be happy, to see somebody unhappy, to ask the person, what is wrong with you? The guy was so happy that when he went to his mother, master's house and he was given an accusation was laid against him and he was put in prison, he was still very happy because God only speaks to joyful people. Anytime you are depressed, God will never speak to you. God doesn't speak to depressed people. But Joseph saw, he saw the moon and the stars Going to the sun, and he was so confident that that was the voice of God that he if she he even went to tell the father, and the father said, What kind of nonsense are you saying? Are you saying me? I'll come and bow to you. He knew that today your destiny has been activated. Where you need to be that you are today, my father will lead you and you get there. I say, My father will lead you and you will get there. The voice of God. It's a activator of destiny. In other words, it's a container of divine direction. It contains divine direction on your destiny. When you read Isaiah 30 verse 21, it is there. It's there. Because you see, the leadings of God ends up supernaturally distinguishing the lead. I pray for you. Some of you, your life is like Moses. But from today, God is about to make you a voice in your family. Some of you, your life is like Abraham. God is calling you out of your father's house. Out of that, 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 that house of wretchedness and poverty. And God is going to make you a millionaire. I didn't hear your amen at all. Sometimes when I read the newspapers and I hear that Osu children's home is appealing for uh, food, this children's home, it makes me so sad. It makes me very unhappy. It makes me see that listen, where are children, uh, uh, Christians that God has blessed? Some of you, God will so bless you that you will look for orphans on the road and sponsor them and give them. You see, some of you, your purpose in life is to be a blessing to people. That will be your portion. I said that will be your portion. Some of you here, 
God will so bless you that you buy a private jet for me. Whether you are not happy or not, it will happen. God will so bless you. As I stand here today, by the grace of God, I have three solid people. One in Italy, one in Canada. And one in the U.S., that are saying, prophet, I want you to come to U.S. and come and rest for one week. Because you gave me prophecies and it came to pass. There was one woman for 16 years in Italy. She never had a child. Until she saw my video on uh, YouTube. My video I did at my first on YouTube. And then got my number and called me. And I said, madam, how many years? She said, 16 years. And I heard the spirit of the Lord told me something. He said, son, say whatever you want to say. I will do it. I said, Madam, it is done. I will talk to you a year after this time. I forgot about it. I was just there one day. My phone rang. It was this woman. It was, she has given birth to a bouncing baby boy. So some of you, God will so bless you. That you will put us on television. Because that, that, that may be your calling and your assignment. I prophesy today. I prophesy over your life. That after today by God's voice. You will discover your destiny. I didn't hear your amen at all. Listen let me tell you something. Gideon was hiding from the Midianites. Until an angel appeared and spoke God's voice to Gideon. And Gideon's courage was so impacted in Gideon that he went to battle with people that were not many. That's, that's another message on his own. The soldiers were there. God told them, listen, I am a God. If you read the book of Job, he said, God does wonders without numbers. He said, look, some of the men are afraid. Let them go to the river. The way they will drink will tell you they are afraid. A majority of the men that left, the, the men that left were more than the ones that stayed. This was a man that had access to God's voice. He was hiding from the millionaires. But access to God's voice, listen to me and listen to me. Whatever you are hiding from after today, some of you can never buy bicycles because you are afraid where you are coming from. But God wants to use you to break that hole over the family. I pray for you today. Your destiny is to walk to Toyota, look at the car, and pay for it at the showroom, and wait in your house, and the car will be delivered in your house. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. I pray for somebody. Listen, I, well, I, I, we need money to finish this thing because the overflows. People are sitting outside. We need to expand the place. We need money. Listen, I have a prophet friend. He, he's not even a prophet. He's a caretaker. How do you call it in Pentecost? He's an elder. He was my schoolmate. He works all right. He works with ADB. And he was my schoolmate. He was taking care of a church. And the church has grown big. One day, one man in the church rose up and, and said, Young man, I know you work with the bank. Do you have your own house? He said, No. He said, The car you are driving, is it your personal car? He said, Yes. He said, I took a loan from the bank. The, this one, he said, The man told him, Go and calculate everything, how much you need to pay the loan off. The guy went to break it. The man gave him a check. Then he gave him an envelope. And in the envelope was a brand new house. A four bedroom house. A house is not hot. 
is not heart, it's house. Why me myself, I entered the house. I knew this was a house. The house was so stuffed. Stuffed with sofa. When I entered the guy's bedroom, I said, Shee. That was, the man looks, he said, he said, he said, he said, Eric, since the time I started playing, I was a leader over that church five years, six years. When we are doing fundraising, I've never seen the man want to give so much before. He looks so ordinary. But that man, the destiny of that man in that church was to bless the pastor. I pray for you people. You see, I've been telling God, I don't want to be preaching to people who I, 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 I told God that God, one day David gathered people that were worthless. They didn't have anything. When you read after the book of Samuel, they became mighty men of David. I told God, God, give me people, financial giants. They look ordinary. They are saloons. They are boutiques. But God raised them up to be mortal millionaires. And I heard him tell me, son, if that is what you are asking me, you have not asked anything. Listen. Me, I know I have said things that have come to pass. And this thing I'm saying will come to pass. Very soon, eh, everybody that will come here, God will bless you. Don't ask me how. Do you know how a seed grows from the ground? You don't know how. That is the same way you don't know how God can raise you up. God can raise you up and put you. I know a young man. I told you this story before. I know a friend of mine who, who didn't have a job and, and was wearing jeans and slippers. And I was supporting him every month. When they give me my salary in those days. And I'll call him and give him some money at the end of the month. If I tell you where the guy is, you'll be shocked. If I tell you, he bought the house for the mother, the father, he has two houses. Not at any ordinary place. Death Traco, a Magna Terrace. He has house. He bought it himself. He, he travels from the US like, 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 like from here to Labadi. about three weeks or is it uh, 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 four months or so ago he came and he, he was calling me and he was not getting me because I'm not a phone person and then I got him he said, he said Eric where are you I'm at the, I said he said I'm at the airport when I went at the airport he gave me thousand dollars cash cash immediately I brought it home Francis digging Francis is into business and, and things like that he needs dollars I gave him the dollars I said I need change give me the change I want physical money that is how God raises somebody and that is what the Bible says that God is able to raise a man from the married clay and put him among princes that shall be your testimony I didn't hear your amen I said that shall be your testimony I said that shall be your testimony that shall be your testimony that shall be your testimony some Joseph's are rising from David's are rising from the backside of the desert. Ah, some Esther's are becoming queens. I prophesy your supernatural rising now. Isaiah 30 verse 31. Isaiah 30 31. If you are there, say amen. Isaiah 30 31. This is what the Bible says. If for through the voice of the Lord shall the Assyrians be beaten down. Through the voice of the Lord. That means that, ladies and gentlemen, what is in the voice of God? 
The voice of the Lord is the answer to the afflictor and his affliction. He said, through the voice of the Lord, the Assyrians will be beaten down. That means that anybody that is afflicting you and the affliction they are engaging against you, through the voice of God, they are beaten down. I prophesy. Listen, this is a prophetic service. I prophesy over your life that every Assyrian against your destiny, by the voice of God, they shall be beaten down. I didn't hear you. I said they shall be beaten down. He said, through the voice of the Lord, the Assyrians shall be beaten down. The voice of the Lord is the weapon for the battles of life. Life is full of battles. I read one book by... Uh, R.W. Shambach. He said, what to do when trouble comes? And he was arguing in that book that, ladies and gentlemen, the book of Job says something. He said, he said, life is full of troubles. Man's days is full of trouble. So trouble is inevitable. Every form of affliction. That sickness has a voice. And there is somebody that brought that sickness. The devil is the originator of sickness. God is a good God. And everything that comes out of God is good. Including killing his enemies is good. That sickness in your body is being healed right now. I didn't hear your amen at all. It's being healed right now. It's being healed right now. One direction through God's voice can collapse your enemies. One direction. One direction. You know, one day, one day, God told Jehovah, He said, uh, uh, through a prophet, He said, You don't need to fight in this battle. Go and look for musical instruments. Let them. You see, it is total stupidity. You are going into battle, then you put trump, trumpeter trumpet and they are singing to tell the enemy that you are coming so they were singing as in goes in go praise as in goes in go praise and they were singing and blowing the trumpet and moving and the enemies Look at this stupid people. It is just like you see, it's just a graphic picture of Israel and Pakistan at, at Gaza. When they are fighting, Pakistanis are throwing stone. In this, it, it is just like Ghana going to war against Togo. Togo is using sophisticated gas, and we are using catapult. That was a graphic example of what happened. But because it was the voice of God, the voice of God went into the battle and fought them and killed them. Today, every enemy, Lados, everything that is afflicting you, every force that is sitting on your glorious destiny, today by the voice of God, I command them to be beaten before you. Some of you, there are certain things in your life that has persisted for so many years. You have done, you have fought, you have fasted, you have prayed, you have lied down, you have done all the direction they have asked you to lie down. But today I prophesy over your life by the agency of the voice of God. Every Assyrian will be beaten before you. Four. The voice of the Lord is a secret of peace. Psalm 85, verse 8. Is a secret of peace. We hope you have been blessed by this timely message. 
Make a date with us this and every Wednesday, 9 a.m. at the Living Fountain Baptist Church, Teshinongwa, near Fertilizer Factory. You can follow us on Facebook and YouTube at Prophet Eric O. Pasley and on Instagram at Prophet Eric underscore O underscore Pasley. Or you can call us on 054-714-120. See you in church.